I guess I'm a little biased that I run the fertilizer. In my opinion, it's tailor made for a secondary source of, of nitrogen. Um, it's, it's not a huge tank capacity compared to some of its competitors, so that's probably something that um, is a tough sell for the bigger farm that wants to see the whole farm, not just no acres. So I guess that's that's the biggest reason why I like it pulling the like fertilizer caddy is that it avails us uh, that secondary source of nitrogen. And uh, it's not all going to be puppy dogs and rainbows too. So this is my this opportunity just to say one thing that I my pet peeve with the, the with the SR is the the tank configuration. And uh, on our farm it's 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 troublesome on cereals because obviously you've got 450 bushels of seed in the back and uh, whatever it is in the front tank, uh, 150 or whatever it is. So uh, I got to talk with the engineers, but you've got a fix that we're going to implement on our farm this coming year to uh, to swap the horses at the back so that we can use the the um, back tank, which is stereotypically the fertilizer tank and, and use it for wheat seed. So um, then we can up our fills to two hundred two hundred acres fill, um, comparatively speaking. So uh, uh, that's my my one my one pet peeve with it is, and every farm is different. The the fill configuration maybe works great for some, but uh, on our farm it would it's definitely beneficial to be able to swap from one to the other. Um, so depending on the crop.